Between a bizarre mum obsession and murky polyamory, The Bachelor's Australia 2023 fans cannot believe just how many red flags both Thomas Malicelli and Jess Naveen are respectively flying. During the January 24th episode, many viewers were distracted by the ongoing open relationship ordeal. However, others finally noticed just how weird it is to expect someone to have kids with you after six weeks. I'm looking for a partner who I can have the experience of creating life with, Thomas said to the camera. When Kiki Joel asked what Thomas saw in their future, the Italian bocce phrased his goals in the most cringeworthy way possible. We kind of take our time to really live every single moment. Get to know each other more and experiencing the creation of life, Thomas told the mother of two on their one-on-one -on -one date. While we suspect there was some sneaky Franken editing going in that audio, the fact that Thomas ever said the creation of life feelings totally gag-worthy. Thomas later told the visiting sexologist that he was craving the chance to create life from scratch. Kiki straight up told him that she wasn't the right person for him if he wanted more children to be a guarantee and honestly, we love her for it. The Bachelor's Australia 2023 fans are baffled at how long it took for Felix von Hofa to notice Jess Naveen's red flags despite Jess' careful phrasing, The Bachelor's Australia fans could tell from day dot that she wasn't keen on pursuing a monogamous relationship. But Felix von Hofa absolutely did not get the memo, spending most of the season hoping to woo Jess enough for her to choose him over her other partner Damien. I want a monogamous relationship. I can't be with someone who is in a polyamorous relationship, Felix said during the January 24th episode. It was so clear to viewers and the other female contestants alike, that Jess and Felix's lives, while both valid, when consensual for everybody involved, just weren't compatible. And it only got worse as fans started to notice Jess' choice of words leaning very close to just straight up lying. She continued to admit that she was being hypocritical because she didn't want her partners to be in other relationships while she wanted to explore options outside of her primary partnership. Whenever I thought about him having sex or going on dates with other women, that would really upset me, Jess said of Damien during her and Felix's therapy session. The Bachelor's Australia 2023 fans don't feel sorry for Felix von Hofe it all came to a head when Jess claimed during their session that Damien wouldn't be her primary partner anymore and yeah, that's not sounding like a clean breakup to anybody. Jess later admitted that she still wanted Damien and doofed. She explained that she would maintain a sexual relationship with him if she wasn't living in the same state as Felix. While a few viewers felt sorry for Felix, most fans thought he should have seen the glaringly obvious signs that this wouldn't work out by now. Honestly, we'd even take more weird pregnancy talk over more of this BS. Want even more goss? Listen to episode 249 of the So Dramatic podcast with Megan Puschetto below. Know something that we don't? Spill the tea here. Get the tea first. Follow So Dramatic on Instagram and tune in on Tuesday to get your reality tea fix with the So Dramatic podcast with Megan Puschetto. Jessamy Houston January 25, 2023 Jessamy Houston digital content producer When she's not deep diving into celeb socials and exposing problematic AF claims, you can find Jessamy scrolling endlessly through TikTok, drinking any form of caffeine she can get her hands on or playing with her pet cat. Who is the most iconic Aussie reality TV star ever? Australian Idol's Ricky Lee Coulter. She cemented herself in my number one spot after signing my Total Girl poster of her nearly two decades ago and this icon isn't budging from my books anytime soon. Favorite reality TV show? Great British Bake Off. What is your favorite reality TV quote? Dance Moms Dr. Holly, you're entitled to your wrong opinion. What would your Real Housewives tagline be? It's not my fault the truth hurts, here's a band-aid. Contact, Jessamy at Sidramatisia Media. Come. Um.